It's football night in the UP. The scores are in. The highlights are captured. And now, it's time for the fifth down. Welcome into the fifth down. I'm Jake Durant. And I'm Haley Schongart. Tonight, our game of the week featured two giants in the Great Northern Conference as Marquette hosted Kingsford. And there was no shortage of highlights at this game. All right, here we go. We don't have to go far for the showdown between the Redmen and the Flivers. Marquette up 7-0. Austin Riddle was locked in tonight. Here he finds Owen Beauchamp, one of his four touchdown passes on the night. It's now 14-0 Marquette. It's scored now 28-0 Redmen. Kingsford finally gained some steam. Michael Meneguzo going to drop a dime over the top to Nick Nora. Nick Nora shows off some speed. He'll get Kingsford on the board. Later, the two going to link up once again as Meneguzo Going to scramble out to his right, and he's going to toss one up and says he's down there somewhere. Nora going to bring it in for his second touchdown catch of the night. It's 34-14 Marquette. But tonight was Marquette's homecoming, and they showed out in front of a packed Hart Stadium as Riddle going to keep it and scramble in for another score. Marquette wins it 55-34, putting them in the driver's seat for now in the Great Northern Conference. Oh, we've been preparing all week for this game, you know. You know, people rank him above us, but we just came out and played our game, you know. We showed him what we got. We got all the players to do it, so we just finished it, came out on top. This is a game I love, so, like, just having to miss it, it it's the worst feeling I've ever felt. So being back here with my brothers is just the best thing. You know, after any win, you feel good. Uh, I'm just happy for our kids. Uh, you know, they, they had this game circled on their uh, calendar as far as the one they wanted to play. And, uh, you know, you just are happy for the kids because after the end of the day, that's what it's all about. And now we are headed to Ishwimming. We had Crosstown rivals squaring off as the Hematites welcome the Westwood Patriots. We'll pick it up at the start of the second quarter. Zach Carlson takes the handoff and the seas will part as Carlson breaks loose and goes 71 yards for the score. That put Westwood up 14-0 with 10:40 left in the half. Ishwimming trying to answer, but this pass is picked off by Carlson. He's headed back to the end zone. This time, 33 yards for the pick six, 22-0 Patriots. A few minutes later, Zach Beckham's pass to Jersey Karki hauls it in. There he goes, diving into the end zone to cap off a 54-yard pass and catch. Westwood rolls 42-0. Move now, we move now to Gwynn. The Model Towners hosting the Hancock Bulldogs. The Model Towners down 26 to nothing in the second quarter, trying to fight their way back. But Shane Aho going to jump in front of this pass. He picks it off and heads the other way. He is tackled after a big return. Not too long later, Aho going to cap it off with a touchdown catch. It's 33 nothing Hancock. In the third quarter, Brad Johnson. With the screen pass to Chad Nordstrom. Nordstrom going to make a couple guys miss, and he crosses the goal line standing up. That made it 39-0 with five minutes to go in the third. Hancock shuts down Gwynn tonight, 46-0. To you go out there and you outfit Escanaba from the word go to the final whistle. Give her every single down. Stay loose, have fun, stick together. Let's go beat the Escanaba. And you just heard Gladstone head coach Jeff Hansen there, and he had his guys fired up for their game tonight at Esky with nine minutes remaining in the first quarter. No score. That is until John Hansen gets behind the defense and into the Braves end zone to convert the two-point conversion to make it 8-0 Gladstone. Later, Kim Kelly going to let it loose again, and guess who? Hansen is there. He high points the ball and brings it in. This is the two-point conversion. Cole Potier shows his strength. Great effort to convert Burt for two. Gladstone earns bragging rights over Escanaba but tonight 30 to 15. Some more football scores for you. The Nagani Miners kind of flying under the radar this season. They top Manistee 55 to 8. And Iron Mountain, they shut out Lawrence 42 to 0. Excuse me, Haley, go for it. Moving on to the eight-man Rudyard. Rudyard beat Brimley 62 to 6. How about the Norway Knights? They shut out the Ironwood Red Devils 40 to 0. Forest Park topped the Stevenson Eagles 50 to 14. Rapid River with the win over Carney Nato, 55-6. And Pickford, they have that win over Ingadine, 44-6. Hontanagan, they lost a close overtime game to Forest Park last week. They bounced back nicely with a 54-14 win over North Dickinson. Let's end with 